Does your small business need a way to send and sign contracts electronically? Let me show you how with JotForm Sign. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing you wanna do is go up into the top left-hand corner where it says My Forms, and we're gonna switch this over to My Sign Documents. Next, we're gonna head up into the top left corner again, and we're gonna click on the green Create Sign Document button. And if you already have a PDF version of your contract, you can always utilize the Upload Document option. But for this example, we're gonna utilize a template. Now, we can always utilize the Search option up at the top if you have a specific type of contract that you are looking for. We can even take a quick scroll, but I'm gonna go ahead and search under Contracts. And let's take a quick scroll. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this freelance contract template. Now, one thing that I like to do before I start making any edits or changes is I like to take a quick scroll just to see what I'm working with. So right here off the bat, we see we have the client name and the freelancer name, and both of them are the same color. So I know that that is going to need to be edited because right now they're the same person going to be signing. So it looks like we have quite the document and then we have down here our signature. So we can see the client is in purple and the freelancer is in orange. So I'm gonna go ahead, head back up to the top. Let's go ahead and edit this first one right here. So client is in purple. And something else too is we can see right here that this right here also needs to be changed to the client. Perfect. Now, if there are any fields that are missing, we can always utilize the add fields over on the left-hand side and we can drag and drop them anywhere as needed. And you can see that the properties opened up on the right-hand side, so we can change these if we need. But for me, I don't need the signature, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the trash icon to get rid of that one. So let's head up to the top tabs and let's see what we are working with. So if we head to settings, if we need to change the name of this document, you can do that here. Also with the email settings, if you'd like to edit the subject or even put a message to everyone who's going to be signing this, we can put that here. So please sign ASAP. And then if you have any integrations that you would like to utilize, this is the place for that. So I'm gonna head over to the Send tab because this is where the magic happens. So we see it already has me as the freelancer and then our client, let's go ahead and put her in. And then you can see to the right of every person who's going to be receiving this, we have two different icons. We have a key and we have a message. So the key is going to be kind of like a passcode or a password. So if you would like any of them to be password protected, we could do that. And then the message bubble, that's going to be a private message to just this person. Over in the settings tab, that's going to everybody. But this one, I'm gonna let her know that her passcode is 123. And we can see who has a passcode or a message because we can see that it is illuminated in blue. Now, if we go up to our options, we do have some other things that we can work with, like an expiration date, automatic reminder emails, or signer delegation. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the signer delegation and head back over to recipients. Now, if I press send to sign right now, both me and my client are going to get this at the exact same time. And that's not what I want to happen. I want to receive it first, be able to fill it out, and then once I'm done, they get it to sign. In order to do that, we're gonna turn on the signing order right over here. And now we can see I get it first and the client gets it second. Now, if there's a different order, we can always use these dots to move everybody around. But we're pretty good to go, so I'm gonna go ahead and send a sign. And let's head over to my email and let's start filling this out. So here we can see that general message where it says, please sign ASAP. So let's go ahead and review and sign document. And let's take a quick scroll. The good thing about this is it's going to pre-populate some of the fields for you, but I'm gonna go ahead and head down to the bottom where it's requesting my signature. And our signature field is really amazing because all we have to do is just click on the field and it's going to automatically populate it for us. Now, if we decide that we want to change the font or maybe the color, we can do that. Or if you would prefer to physically draw your signature, you can do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and sign and complete and accept and send. And let's head over to the next email. We can see here the please sign ASAP. And then we also have the passcode is 123. So let's go ahead and review and sign document and we'll enter in that passcode and validate. And then the same thing, let's go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom and we will put our signature right here. Perfect, sign and complete and accept and send. Good deal. Now, one thing I want you to take notice is if we head back over to JotForm right here in the top left-hand corner where it says sign builder, if we change it over to inbox, 
We see all of these tabs across the top. We have waiting for my signature, waiting for others, even completed, which is where our document is going to live. So we see our contract with everybody signing it. But if we scroll down to the end past the document, we have this really awesome document called an audit trail. So if we need to know where this document was and when we have access to that. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing Jotform Sign to send and sign your contracts for your small business, let us know and I'll see you next time.